So it is very cold today at my house. I am happy to report that I was able to get a fire going, keeping it nice and warm. But when I looked at my wood rack, I noticed that one of the caps on the top of the wood rack is missing. And so I've been on the lookout for a good part to draw up in Onshape and turn into a 3D print. And I think that I have found a winner. So we'll start out here in Onshape on our documents page. This is basically where we stopped in our last video. Uh, this is the page that when you log into Onshape, you're gonna be presented with all of your current documents. And I'm gonna choose to create a new document. I'll call this Wood Rack Cap. And that takes us into our 3D part modeling environment. And so now from here, I'm gonna select this plane. I'm gonna do a right mouse button, new sketch. That's a little something I uh, discovered in my off time. I'm going to S key, go to the rectangle command and create the first rectangle for this thing. And I'm just gonna measure this cap here and determine that it is, let's see here, about, I'll call it about 30 by 30. So we'll go 30, enter, 30, enter. And then we're gonna take that and extrude that out to a height of about 2.6 millimeters. So here we go, 2.6, enter, enter. Now I'm gonna pick this face. I'm gonna choose to start a new sketch. I'm gonna S key, create a rectangle. And I'm gonna create a rectangle right at the center of that previous extrusion. And that rectangle is going to have a 21 by 21 size to it and we're going to features extrude and we're going to give that a height of about 14 millimeters so we'll go 14 enter enter and now we're going to select this face again and begin a new sketch we're going to choose to create a rectangle once again we'll wake up the center point and we'll give that rectangle a distance of this one's about 28 for that fin so we'll go, I'll go 27.75, go just a little bit on the uh, smaller side. So 27.75, 27.75, and we're going to extrude that. We'll say that that's gonna get offset. So here you see you've got the starting offset option, and that's gonna offset to a distance of about, looks like about three millimeters. And then the thickness of that one is gonna be about 1.2. And then there's a slightly smaller rectangle up above that one. So I will select this face, begin a sketch, go to the rectangle command and create my rectangle here at the center. And that's gonna be at, like I said, this one's just slightly smaller. Looks like it's closer to about 27 by 27. So that way I guess it'll, it'll kind of go down into that rectangular hole in the rack and uh, get pushed in for a, a press fit basically. Uh, we'll make that one 1 1.2 as well, and we'll make that starting offset probably a little closer to about 6. Uh, maybe even a little more, maybe a little closer to 7. So that starting offset is going to be at 7. And now for our final feature, we're going to create a sketch up on this top surface, and we're going to create a rectangle once again. Uh, this time it's going to have uh, 18 by, about 18 by 18. But this one is gonna get extruded with a different option. So everything we've done so far, we've been using the extrude to add material. Well, this one we're gonna use this option for remove material. So it's the same command in Onshape to both add and remove material, but you choose the different parameter here once you get into the actual extrude feature. So we're gonna say remove material, and then for the depth, we'll say this is gonna go up to a face, uh, up to face, and that'll be up to this face here. And we hit the green check mark, and that, pretty much takes care of the geometry for that wood rack cap. Nice and easy, very straightforward. I think it's a perfect part for me to try out creating a 3D printed part from the free version of Onshape. So let me flip over to this view so you can see these tabs at the bottom because you're gonna right mouse button on this tab down here for Part Studio One, and that's where you're gonna find the option for export. So I'm gonna choose to take this part, I'm gonna export it. I'll call it uh, wood rack cap and it will go into STL. This is the one setting you gotta be careful of. Uh, I've had some prints in the past where I set it to meter, and then the parts come out very, very small on the uh, 3D printer bed, so make sure that that's set to the correct units, millimeters, and I think this all looks good. Let's choose export, 
All right, and that downloaded the STL. And I think I'm gonna print this one on the Flash Forge. So let me drag that STL in here. Yes, that looks good. That looks about like what the size should be. So I'm just gonna add some supports to this thing and then run it through the slicer. It looks like it's gonna take about 42 minutes to print this. So I'm going to take a look at the preview. Looks good. And I'm gonna move it over to the 3D printer and all systems go here as well. It looks good. Although I'm really not looking forward to having to clean out all that support material between the fins. Um, what are you gonna do? That's the nature of 3D printing. So let me get this thing off of the bed and over onto my workbench. And now I'm gonna go through and clean out that support material. Like I said, it's just the nature of 3D printing. Fortunately, it breaks away pretty easily. And I'm left with a finished 3D part. We've got the original on the left, the new one on the right. It looks like the 3D printed part is a little taller than the original, so I'm gonna have to double check those dimensions. But the square dimensions look perfect. So let me take this out to the fireplace. Let me take it out to the uh, wood rack for the ultimate test, the fit test. And guys, I wish you could have been there for this because I put this thing into the wood rack. I got to push this down and hear this very satisfying. It just snapped right into place. It was perfect. It fit perfect. I'll put the original one back here. And I gotta say that for me, this was a total success. I mean, I've been using Onshape for less than a week. I was able to create a totally free account. I was able to create a 3D model and turn that into a functional 3D printed replacement part. Man, this is a total win for me. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Have you tried to do any 3D printing out of Onshape? Have you had any success? Have you run into any challenges? I'm very interested to hear what other people are running into. And of course, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for more episodes where me, a SolidWorks expert, attempts to learn as much as I can about Onshape.